Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. I got my buddy here. You might know him. If you don't, go and subscribe to his channel. You've heard of, or should have heard of, Langley Outdoors Academy. Braden, how are we doing, my friend? Oh, it's a great day for freedom, Jared. It's it is. a great day. And it is. By um, the way, <clears throat> I was looking for the premier source of Second Amendment news. Is this it? This is Did it. I... Okay, thank you, God. You've officially God, found I it. it. <laughs> I found it, thank God. <laughs> I was nervous. So uh, if you guys and gals aren't familiar with uh, with Braden's channel, you should be. Go sub. Uh, but he covers 2A News just like myself. And we figured since we both report on a majority of the same issues, uh, we have a victory to talk about. So we figured, hell, why not do it together? Um, you guys and gals, we've been both reporting on a bill out of New Mexico. It was HB9. It was a safe storage bill. Uh, before we jump into this, uh, Braden, I don't know how you feel about safe storage, but as a gun owner and a father uh, of uh, kids from the, ranging from 7 to 21, I think it's my responsibility to secure my items, and I don't think the government should intrude on in my house and tell me how to secure anything. Um, that's right. how I look at safe storage. It's on the individual. I mean, if I'm worried about my kids, then I'm obviously going to take measures to make sure that they don't grab any firearms. Uh, what's your thought on it? Very similar. Uh, mine's kind of <clears throat> mine's kind of two-tier, right? So I agree with you completely. It's kind of a self-responsibility thing, that thing that we've kind of shifted off to the government. We kind of need yeah. to take that back a little bit, um, not just in the area of firearms, but I mean, dude, anywhere, right? Like any level of responsibility that could be taken, the government saying, that's a hard decision. We'll take care of that. You just, you're good, right? And particularly in the world realm of firearms, if you open up and like start that slippery slope of, hey, tell me how to store this. Hey, what kind of ammunition can I use? Is it safe to do this? Right. You're opening up, a realm of, and that's just the benign stuff. I mean, that's before you even get into the, you know, you probably shouldn't have that because that has a penetration factor. Is that caliber really the best for you? Well, that's none of your business, right? right. So that's the first thing that, I mean, it's it's a self uh, responsibility thing. The second thing is it kind of stacks on that, that responsibility, but also that government intrusion, right? Like, cause there's a lot of things that we're so used to in the gun industry, backdoor events and backdoor challenges on how you're going to take the guns, like it's particularly in the bills we're about to talk about, I'm sure we're going to hit on it. There's so much in there that could go so wrong so fast. And even if, and there's a big if, but if the intention is pure, it could easily be just manipulated and the road to perdition can jump real quick. And yeah. that's, that's the biggest concern I have. Absolutely. I agree. Um, so for those who live in New Mexico or who have been watching this bill, we have a victory to report. Uh, it is officially dead. Their session came to a, uh, a very long marathon session. It was 27 hours of uh, nonstop debate that began yesterday at 9 a.m. Uh, New Mexico time, and it is done. Um, so it is officially dead. Stick a, a knife in it, uh, but it will be back. Amazing. So oh, stay yeah. on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> Abs absolutely. I mean, like, just to give everyone who's not familiar with this, just, I mean, we knocked down, not not you and I, of course, the people in New Mexico, knocked down two major bills in fully democratic controlled environments, magazine bans and the safe storage law. I mean, like that is you know, a little pat on the back for those guys, because that's not easy to do. Absolutely. I mean, even though they try to do that sneaky little, this is a budget bill because we have a gun and safety department in New Mexico. So now it's an appropriations bill. Look, we can fit it into the budgetary session. Um, even though they tried that, that's that's shout out to New Mexico. That's big. Yeah, hell of a job. Um, you want to uh, you want to touch on the, uh, the the corny parts of this bill and why it was really? I'm glad that it got defeated. Well, I mean, overall, just in general, if we're talking about the safe storage law, I'm glad it got defeated just on principle first. Yeah. But some of the stuff that was, man, it was it was a nightmare. Some of the ambiguous nature of it's going to be a felony if someone else touches your gun. If your parent comes or if your child comes over and they have access to a gun, they never touch it. But if they see it but they could have, but you didn't know they're coming over, but now it's a felony, but now it's a thousand dollar fine, but it depends what the, which way the wind is blowing. I'm right. like, uh, -uh. nope. <laughs> so many, so many flags. Um, that the biggest thing for me though, was just the ambiguous nature of the entire thing. The felonies, the thousand dollar fines. I mean, the whole thing was meant to price you out of the firearms ownership world. They can't do it legally. So they're going to basically penalize you to death with taxes. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, it was a nightmare. Yeah, it was good. And I know a couple of the sheriffs in uh, New Mexico and uh, a couple of retirees as well, and uh, they weren't really in favor of the bill. Um, so I'm, I'm glad it died. Uh, last thing that 
at least the ones that I know that are pretty constitutional. The last thing they want to do is worry about how you're locking up your items. So I'm glad this bill is gone for now. But mm -hmm. uh, if you live in New Mexico, it will be back. This is not just New Mexico, every state. This is something mm -hmm. that the Biden administration is looking to push. Uh, we have it here in Massachusetts. In fact, the, the national uh, bills uh, mirror what we have here, the craziness. Uh, again, it's it's my responsibility. It's not uh, not Joe Biden's responsibility to tell me what to do with my stuff. But uh, yeah, well, I mean, keep an eye out. This is definitely something that they want. I mean, according to the uh, statistics on Every Town for USA, your state is leading the nation in safety uh, for guns. Uh, turns yeah. out the results well, are the best. Yeah, it's not, though. So as somebody who lives here, <laughs> our violent crime has gone up with all of our... Are, are you implying that Every Town for USA is misleading information around gun control? No, because I would never do that. No, I would never I, do that. I have questions. In fact, they actually, uh, Every Town did a little last minute push trying to get this uh, HB9 in New Mexico reprioritized at the last minute, and they failed miserably too, which was... Every, which was man, Every Town is working hard. These, I swear... Like, this is like, guys, for you, for you guys who are out there who aren't like just kind of touch and go on this, this is like a national cage match between gun rights and gun control. Like we were talking about before this filming, there is like in Boulder, every town is writing gun laws. New Mexico, they tried, they lost. Washington, you've got other things going on. Six other states, you have concealed carry, or excuse me, constitutional carry bills going, going forward. I mean, it is like a cage match out here. I mean, I'm sure like you could elaborate on that further. It's just, it's almost exhausting keeping up with all of it, man. It's a full time job, man. A lot of people. There's a reason a lot of people don't do this because it's it, it never ends. It never ends. Man, it's a it's a cage match. I love it. Well, hey, man. You know, I, I know your uh, your crew that watch your stuff is used to a little shorter of a time format, so I won't stretch them out to the to the ten twelve minute <laughs> mark. Uh, but hey, man, thank you for coming on first off, and uh, let yeah. folks know how to find you and and a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, man. Like, so Langley Outdoors Academy on YouTube. I mean, if you follow Jared, you're going to see my thumbnails pop up because we're kind of in that exact same space. Um, we do two videos a day, similar to Jared. I do one in the morning, one in the evening, and we're hitting the most recent 2A news. But I kind of do a little bit of a extra thing. I really like to look at the overall themes and the, tr the trending lines and all the things that they're the gun controllers are pushing and also freedom where it's growing. So I really like that national zoom out, that kind of battlefield look. Um, but that's, that's kind of the channel, man. But other than that, I mean, where where can I find some delicious coffee? That's what I want to know. Um, well, I, I know somebody who owns part of a company um, in Florida. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not Monday, but I figure it's, it's always every time day. for the coffee. Know, that coffee <laughs> keeps me from eating people's faces sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good because I need you at SHOT Show. If you weren't at SHOT Show and you were incarcerated, I would, I would be sad. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so... Please check if you're not a subscriber. Check him out. Sub it up. Um, I'm I'm blessed to know him. Finally, got to get to hang around with him for a while, and I'm I'm proud to call him my friend. Um, if you're not subscribed, do it up. Hook him up, and uh, till we see each other again. Be safe. Stay yeah. vigilant. Carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. And way to go, New Mexico. <laughs> All right, New Mexico. Nicely done. <laughs>